What's up guys, welcome back to Card Spot. My name is Ethan and today we are opening up a case of Malaise of Millennia, Malaise of Millennia, Maze of Millennia, uh, which is the brand new set here in the TCG, including such cards as Bonfire, Triple Tactics Thrust, and of course the Transaction Rollback if you're a Labyrinth player. So we're ripping right into it and it is a Magic Specter Raccoon Bung Bunku off the bat. Straight into our next pack and we probably will go through these pretty fast because we have lots to open and we got a Kytop Terra, there we go. This is one of the new dinosaur support monsters that's actually pretty good. On a, Once per turn you can search a Polymerization and if it is banished you get to special summon it and then add a Polymerization from your graveyard back to your hand. So not too bad. We got one of the new Earthbound cards as well, Earthbound Prisoner Stone Sweeper. But we are really looking for those bonfires. I mean, that card is just worth a lot of money. Uh, ooh, there we go. Some new support for my Dark World deck as well. Clawless, Chaos King of Dark World. Transaction Rollback is also doing pretty well on pre-sales, as well as Triple Tactics Thrust. So, ooh, Turbulence, the Rescue Ace reprint. So those are the big three from this set. That's what we're going to be looking out for. Of course, we also have options at the new Flame Swordsman support as well as collector's rares and even quarter century secret rare well i was going to say plural but just one uh it is junk warrior is the quarter century secret rare in the set and honestly it's pretty sweet it's uh alternate artwork that's never been released before uh and it, it looks pretty awesome so i'll be i'll be pretty keen to pull one of those but in the meantime we are making our way through the packs we have our first bonfire there we go this card has been doing absolutely insane on pre-sales, so I will take as many of these as we can pull today. Uh, it does come in as a collector's rare as well, um, so we'll put that one there. Alright, can we get a collector's rare out of here? We've got another Clawless there, which is fine. I think probably you only play one because you have to play the old rainbow, if you even play any, to be honest. Uh, we're gonna go to Earthbound Servant Geo Grasher. Pretty keen to get the Flame Swordsman support out of here. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to give it a go. It looks kind of fun. Uh, we got there we go, Fighting Flame Sword as an ultra rare. There we are. Obviously, there are the Bonfire and the Thrust is the better ultra spell cards out of here, but we will take it anyway. Uh, I'm just excited to be opening a case of a deck build set. We've never opened that before. I, th I saw the secret for a second and I was like, oh, is this the quarter century? But no. Yeah, so our first case opening of a side set, so there should be plenty of quarter century, well, of collector's rares rather, uh, and hopefully a quarter century secret rare. I don't know what the ratio is for the quarter century secret rare in these packs, but I do know um, that collector's rares are usually one in every sort of three to four boxes. Uh, so if we get around that, that would be pretty sweet because we've got 12 boxes here, so we should hopefully get three to four collector's rares. And there is an ancient chant, which is another ultra rare spell card. Uh, unfortunately, not so good. Uh, it is a reprint. Oh, I've just yeeted this pack away. Uh, it is a reprint which uh, did help the value of the original print ancient chant because they skyrocketed that were they were kind of insane um but now that has calmed down a little bit which is good it was it was really needed um so you know i won't complain too much for the people that actually want to play <laughs> the winged dragon of Ra deck it shouldn't cost that much to play such a terrible deck so <laughs> you know uh Let's see what we got in here. We got the Prisoner Stone Sweeper. I found Immortal is also, I think, kind of playable after this set, which is kind of interesting. Um, it'll be interesting to see how these decks uh, move the meta needle with the Flame Swordsman and Earthbound Immortals. Of course, we know the the impact that Bonfire is going to have, unfortunately. Um, uh, with fire kings predominantly um but also i believe like rescue ace and things can play it as well and of course the new dino support as well kytop terra is actually really good um and oh there's our first transaction rollback this is what labyrinth players will be playing um, it's a, another nice normal trap card for them uh as i was saying kytop terra and the new fusion uh that it makes are actually pretty good so Nice little support, a little boost for the dinosaur decks as well. Kind of reminds me of Maze of Memories. On, uh, no, jeez, not Maze of Memories. It does remind me of Maze of Memories because that was last year's Maze set. Um, but it reminds me of Wild Survivors with the dinosaur support. 
Um, but there's plenty of other good things in here as well. As you saw a peek there, the Jet Synchron reprint, which is kind of nice, which I believe is available as a collector's rare as well. That would be a pretty sweet collector's rare to pull because that's a nice looking card. Got another Turbulence. Right, we are marching right along. I'm looking to make good time in this video because uh, we've got a lot of packs to get through. I forgot about this, the new Arcana Force card as well. Uh, not good. <laughs> it does not help Arcana Force at all, and I've just destroyed that pack, but that's okay. Um, but, you know, it's uh, it's there, I guess. It, it shows that Konami hasn't forgotten about Arcana Force. Which, you know, it's kind of sad, because if you've watched GX, that was a pretty important deck in the GX uh, anime with Sartorius using the Arcana Force monsters just to roll everybody, basically. Um, and, uh, you know, it'd be cool if that deck was more playable, but, you know, it is what it is. It's interesting, uh, going back to Kaitop Terra, pre-sales for that card are actually really high for a super rare, um, which is kind of surprising. So, it'll be interesting to see how those prices hold, uh, once packs start getting opened, because I'm sure it's actually reasonably easy to pull, as we've already pulled a couple. And we've got Drastic Draw here as an ultra rare. All right, on to the next pack, and uh, let's see what we got hiding in here. It is just an Earthbound Servant. I mean, I guess I could just skip right to the back card, right? I mean, we'll, we'll go through a few just to see the rares, see what the reprints are. You got the Protocol, um, Burfamet there, another Earthbound Immortal. Because we are kind of interested in what the rares are, but I don't think there's anything kind of too amazing this time around. It's not like something like Wild Survivors where you basically had an entire dinosaur deck reprinted as rares. But there are still some decent rare reprints, so, uh, you know, there's there's some stuff to love in here. We've got the Geogryphon again. Marching right along, where are we going to pull our first Collector's Rare? Alright, let's see what's hiding in this one. I'm keen to hear what you guys are looking forward to out of the set in the comments down below. Let me know, because uh, I think for... for a lot of people, there's something different uh, in the set that they're after. Some people are after the Flame Swordsman stuff. Some people are after the Dinosaur stuff. Um, obviously, a lot of people are after the Bonfire, because that's the most kind of um, significant card in the meta. Um, but in terms of just building fun decks and things, yeah, there's a lot in here for people to be playing with. So, of course, Transaction Rollback as well, Thrust, you know, all of that kind of stuff. All right, if we could pull a collector's rare bonfire that would be pretty sweet i would i would be pretty stoked with that um it's also unconfirmed because i don't believe all the collector's rares have been confirmed at the time of recording um but thrust as a collector's rare that could be pretty sweet i mean obviously it has an ultimate rare printing already as a um ots pack ulti and it's secret rare in its original printing so now it's ultra does it need a collector's rare printing? I mean, it would be cool. I would I would definitely take it. Um, does it need it? Well, I don't know about that, but uh, you know, it would still be awesome to see as a collector's rare. And I think one of the better cards to pull as a collector's rare, but Bonfire is another really good card to pull, so we will take that. All right, we are, we're on a roll with two Bonfires and one Transaction Rollback so far. Um, so ratio for this set should be three Ultras per box. Because we got 26 boxes, that should be uh, 36 Ultra Rares. However, uh, we will lose some of those two Collector's Rare slots. So it all kind of, it'll all work out in the wash. Um, but we should have 36 pulls. Oh, we got a Collector's Rare here. I'm going to try and not spoil it. It's a spell though. Collector's Rare spell, is it going to be a bonfire? Is it going to be a bonfire right away? Oh! <laughs> it's an ancient chant. I mean, it's still cool, but it's no bonfire, but that's okay, uh, I guess. There's there's one of our Collector's Rare hits down, one of our potential three to four Collector's Rares. <sighs> I, I really didn't want to do an Ancient Chant, if I'm honest. Uh, I would have preferred like a Jet Synchron or something, that would have been pretty cool, but uh, here we go, Harmonic Synchro Fusion. Don't know if this is any good, I don't think so. The problem is, right, Bonfire is so hyped that it's really everything else kind of gets forgotten about so it's like uh is that actually good it could be but no one's actually talking about it um i don't i'm not gonna sit here and read every card as we pull them um and i haven't really read a lot of the other ultra rare cards in the set 
Um, I've read the Flame Swordsman ones, we covered that on Yugi News last week. Um, but yeah, we've got the Fame Flame Swords Realm there. On to the next one. So our first collector's rare is Ancient Chant. What else can we get out of here? It'll be awesome to get that collector's rare bonfire. That would be I'd be pretty stoked with that. Um, but any bonfires are good, really. But we will see as we carry on our journey. Opening packs here in a maze of millennia. Let's get a. I wonder if uh, transaction rollback is available as a collector's rare. I think probably. Oh, collector's rare clawless would be pretty sweet actually. If there if there's a super that they've done a collector's rare of, that would actually look pretty awesome. Um, do I want to pull it? No, <laughs> um, because it probably wouldn't be worth very much. Uh, but maybe I'd buy it afterwards. <laughs> Um, let's see what we've got. Uh, Eye of Illusion. I think that's a card for illusion um, monsters. So it's kind of interesting. And it is on the cover of the set. This, this set cover is interesting, right? Because it's just a bunch of the cards from the set. Oh, there's another ancient chart. Okay. Get, get hyped about that, everybody. <laughs> um, there, it's just a bunch of cards from the set on the cover of the set. It's no one particular card, uh, and it's not like all of the best cards, although most of them are on there. It's kind of almost seeming at random, but of course, Flame Swordsman does take the prominent spot. But you have things like the Super Rare Kai Top Terra on there, um, Super Rare Earthbound Immortal stuff, so it's like, well, it's not all just super high rarity stuff, super hard to pull stuff so I guess that's kind of cool um, but can we get something nice out of here in terms of collector's rare click decent collector's rare maybe a quarter century secret rare perhaps that would be pretty sweet uh, I don't know that there's any ultra rare monsters in here <laughs> so far all we've pulled are ultra rare spells and traps um, I'm sure there is but I, I haven't f oh there we go we got photon delta wing as an ultra this kind of kind of doesn't seem that great the special summons another copy of itself and then you can't special summon other than light monsters um, so it seems like a card that would have been good like a couple of years ago now not so much uh, so hopefully we can keep pulling those to a minimum and just focus on bonfire and transaction rollback but bonfire is the most expensive card in the set at least the most expensive normal rarity card in the set uh you do have obviously the collector's rares and things that will be more expensive but um as an ultra rare that's the most expensive card for now and of course we are still in pre-sale time so any s values that you see on your screen do take them with a grain of salt because values from the cards are still s settling down um, and I think you know things like thrust which is apparently very short printed uh, at one to two per case uh, that will stay probably pretty high um, whereas other things like bonfire might start to settle down um, once people see that it's actually not super short printed because I think everyone was kind of expecting that uh, so you know the the values will be all over the place but it gives you an idea. There we are, another transaction rollback. We will take that. I need to stop slamming my camera every time I pick up a sleeve. Okay, that is our cloth foil, so I'm gonna stack these up and put them to the side. And we'll shoot for another 12 down here, just because we are gonna be getting 36. So technically we're a third of the way through our pulls and I've readjusted the camera so that we're getting a little bit closer in on the action. I'm gonna get that up close and personal look at the cards. Um, and in this one, we have another Clawless Super Rare. Going on to the next pack, and it will be, what do we got? oh, we just skipped right to it, the Earthbound Servant Geo Griffin. If I look like I'm getting a little moist as the video goes on, that's because I am, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> we are in the middle of summer here in New Zealand, and it is boilingly hot. But there we go, that's the Fighting Flame Swordsman that we wanna see, that's the, I think that's like the starter for, for Flame Swordsman, so that's pretty nice. Um, I would I would take more of those. I wouldn't hate being able to build a Flame Swordsman deck after this, um, but of course I would prefer these cards, Bonfires and Transaction Rollbacks, because that helps me actually make my money back on this case. So 
you know, it's, uh, there's a bit of like, mm, do I want these cards? Yes. But would I like other cards more? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is the nature of opening packs, but there is another Fighting Flame Swordsman nearly back to back. Uh, so I'll take that because that is two of them now. I think that's actually our third transaction rollback. So that's a set of those. So we have two, two bonfires, three transaction rollbacks. Oh, we got to click. No, we don't. It's just, <laughs> it is just a Bunbuku. I thought that was a collector's rare, but it's not. All right, on to the next pack and it'll be, what will it be? It'll be a Clawless. I really actually hope that Clawless is a collector's rare now. Uh, it probably won't be, but it, it matches the other Dark World cards, right? Because like all the old Dark World cards were ulties back in the day. I'm talking about, um, uh, well, I think Rainbow was actually, but gold, silver, um, brow, all of those, uh, beige, I think as well. We got the harmonic synchro fusion there. So if you were trying to make like max rarity Dark Worlds, or at least collecting those ulties, a collector's rare clawless would look pretty nice. And uh, we got the Geo Aggrusher there. All right, we are continuing on in our quest. Are we going to get a Collector's Rare Bonfire? Or Collector's Rare Transaction Rollback, if it exists. Can we get two Triple Tactics Thrusts, even? Two is apparently slightly more, I think. Was it 12 per 14 cases or something? No, no, it can't have been like that. It must have been 20 per 14 cases. Something like that. It's like 1.5 per case. So it might even be harder to pull than the quarter century secret rare. I don't know for certain, but it, it could be. So uh, we got Armored Xyz. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. We've still got plenty of packs to go. So uh, I'm enjoying the ride. Hopefully you guys are too. Sitting back, chilling out, watching some nice pack openings as we zoom through to a flame swords realm could there be a collector's rare bonfire hiding in here i mean there could will there be no it's just a geographer uh but there could have been and that's what we're here for right that's the that's the whole point we all know what cards are in the set but we don't know what cards we're going to open and that is a flame swords realm so we will keep opening until we get some more good cards. We're on a bit of a cold streak now. We had a few ultras kind of back to back there. That's another harmonic synchro fusion, which is not really what we want, but I guess we'll take it. Uh, I think that's our third one of those as well now. So got a, got a play set of those, I guess. <laughs> um, then it's another Kaitoptera. Actually, probably a better card than the Harmonic Synchro Fusion. I'm not sure, I'm just guessing. Uh, as I say, I haven't read that card, so I don't know, but I just heard no one talking about it. Same with Eye of Illusion, really. Um, just not a whole lot of interest in them. I'm pretty sure the whole set list was revealed, so it's not like they're not known about. I think it's probably just people not being interested in them. So, But that broke our cold streak at least. We had a little bit of a dry spell there, but we got two pretty oh, two ultras in quick succession. Jeez, I can't even talk. Kaitoptera again. For someone who makes Yu-Gi-Oh videos all the time, or just videos in general, and talks a lot, <laughs> I really ought to get better at talking. <laughs> uh, but uh, apparently not. Apparently I was not guessed, I was, was not blessed, there we go, with a nimble tongue, so uh, it just gets tired all the time. It won't be a tongue twister, you know, the, the secret rare from I think Gladiator's Assault, maybe that's me. Alright, we continue onwards, see if we can get that collector's rare bonfire, that is, that is our quest today, I think that would be the most expensive card overall from the set um it depends what people want to make the junk warrior go for um but yeah i would say that will be up there if not the most expensive uh so that would be pretty sweet or even just another bonfire at this point we would take because uh it's been a little bit of a dry period with no bonfires but we still do have a few uh, foils to go. We've got 18 more foils to go. So, oh, there we go. Number one Infection Buzz King. This is actually a really good card and a card that I think uh, is definitely getting slept on with people looking at um, Bonfire instead. Uh, but no, it's a good card. All right. Collector's Rare Bonfire win. Let's see what's hiding in this one. It is just a turd. 
interesting reprinting Rescue Ace in here of all places. Like, Rescue Ace was first printed in a deck build pack um, in, what, the start of last year, I guess. Uh, Rescue Ace, Mekanko, and Pearly all came out in Amazing Defenders, which was early-ish last year. I can't remember what the first set was. If it was Amazing Defenders. I know Maze of Mil Memories was around there. This is Maze of Millennia. Maze of Memories was around there somewhere as well. Um, don't remember exactly. I want to say Amazing Defenders was the first set of 2023, but uh, that could be wrong. I don't know. Let me know in the comments uh, which was the first set of 2023. Was it Maze of Memories or was it Amazing Defenders? Either way, Rescue Ace getting a reprint, I guess, is good. Unfortunately, it did get a hit on the ban list not that long ago, just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so mm, it's not as good as it was, but with things like Bonfire, it can still use that. And it can use the Sinful Spoils package as well. Uh, so it's it's still, still got some goods, I think. All right, carrying on here into our next pack. What have we got hiding in here? It is just a Bunbuku. That was, oh, throwing that pack away, that was a good reprint. Bunbuku was a much needed reprint from Magispector. Of course, more support coming out in, I think, Photon, uh, Phantom Nightmare. Bunbuku really had no business being as expensive as it was. Um, of course, no Unicorn coming back off the list though, uh, but a Delta Wing coming out of the pack. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to get excited about Delta Wing. I just, I, unless there's some insane thing that breaks that card, it's hard for me to get too excited about it. We haven't got the uh, Fighting Flame Sword yet, the other Flame Swordsman Ultra Rare. But I think at this point we've pulled most of the other Ultra Rares in this set, at least one copy. So yeah, we're, we're looking we're looking pretty good, I would say. Almost got excited again thinking that was the Quarter Century Secret Rare in that back spot, but it was not. Oh, there we go, our third bonfire, we will take that. Play set of bonfires now, that's pretty sweet. That's what we need. More of those, please. Take as many of those as the pack opening gods want to give us. All right. Maybe it's time we just start doing the wapow because there's a lot of rares that I feel like we're starting to have seen a lot. So uh, it might just be better to do that. Just to save a bit of time, we have <laughs> ancient chart. Everyone's favorite. <laughs> um, that's definitely a playset of those, if not more. I think that's a playset of Ultras and maybe the Collector's Rare is extra. Uh, no more of those, please. We'll, we'll just stick to we'll stick to bonfires. That would be that would be great. I think we will just skip the rares now and just go straight to the foil because uh, yeah, that'll that'll help us zoom through here a wee bit, and that's what we're really here for, right? Phoenix Gear Blade there. On to our next one. These packs are kind of hard to open because they're sticking to my hand. Got the Ashoka Pillar, uh, but we will persevere. It's just so humid in Auckland today. It is crazy. It's been pouring with rain, but the temperature's still up around, what, like 23, 24 degrees Celsius. Just beautifully humid, really tropical weather. Uh, drastic draw there as an ultra. All right, one more foil and we are two thirds of the way through. That is not it, that is Arcana Force the Fiend. Well, it still is a foil, I guess, but it's not a hit. A hit is an ultra rare or above, and that is an ultra rare. Another drastic draw, two of those in a row. Uh, hopefully this card is good, right? Right? Okay, so technically we are now two thirds of the way through, I guess, um, because we have opened 12 foil hits, uh, ultra rares or above, uh, which means now we have, oh, sorry, we've opened 24 and we have 12 left. So that is another one and I'm not super stoked about that. Yeah, I think this is, mm, I can't see that being worth much with that effect. Like, I feel like that effect could be printed on a random like super rare from a regular core set. So yeah. Um, it, it's not blowing me away. Um, but in this one, it's another Clawless. I don't love that they named him Clawless. I preferred Colorless. I actually thought Colorless was kind of badass. But I know that they don't spell the names correctly. Um, obviously, like, 
beige is like B-E-I-I-G-E -I -I -E and stuff like that. Um, and what else? Like magenta is genta. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I don't know why I'm blanking. Silver has two L's in it and it ends in an A, not an E-R. Gold has two D's, you know, that kind of stuff. Rip. There we go. Still have some collector's rares to go, I hope. Because we've only pulled one so far. Um, and we're heading into our last 12 pulls. So hopefully there's some cool collector's rares to be seen in here. Along with that quarter century secret rare, perhaps. Only one per set of these side sets, these deck build sets. But, you know. Hey, there's a fighting flame sword. That's the first one of those we've pulled. So now I think we've pulled every ultra from the set. I could be wrong, unless there's like some random not important ultra no of course one random important ultra is thrust we haven't pulled a thrust yet how could i forget about thrust it's one of the best cards in the set not being played a whole lot right now uh but still a pretty good reprint although if it's as short printed as the initial reports are saying well yeah i think it's still going to be a pretty hard to get card um yeah it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how that card's trajectory goes uh, because I think a lot of people, when it was confirmed as an ultra, people were fire sailing their secret rares just to, you know, oh no! <laughs> uh, I don't think that's going to be great. Okay, we're going to read this card. So it's a normal spell, send one tuner and one non-tuner from your face up field to the grave, special summon both of the following monsters from your extra deck. One Synchro Monster that could be Synchro Summoned using just those two monsters, and one Fusion Monster that could be Fusion Summoned using just those two monsters. You cannot Special Summon from the Extra Deck to turn you activate this card, except Fusion or Synchro Monsters. Um, ah, it's one of those cards that I could see having application in the right deck, but it does seem a bit gimmicky. I'm not going to lie. So, as a Collector's Rare... Probably not stoked. Probably not stoked to have that as a collector's rare, to be honest. Um, definitely a collector's rare bonfire would have been nicer. Um, but that's okay. We've got a fighting flame sword to make up for it. And, and hopefully another one or two collector's rares. And potentially quarter century secret rare as well. It would be nice if the collector's rares didn't take the spot of an ultra rare. Just like some added value, but... Uh, that's just being greedy, right? We can't <laughs> we can't hope for nice things like that from Konami Especially with you know the how expensive bonfire is like it just shows They're back to printing expensive cards We just had like rarity collection with nice reprints and then hey, how about paying us a lot more money for good cards <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it is what it is um, but hopefully and we could pull a collector's rare one that would be really nice really help make back some value of this case because it's the first time we've opened a case of a deck build set as i mentioned earlier and uh i don't want it to be the last time but i feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to make value back from what we've pulled so far i would say um, especially given you know you've only got essentially 36 cards to make value back with because let's be honest the supers probably i mean kai top terror might be worth a couple of dollars but the rest of the supers aren't really going to be worth much um and that's hard you know that's really hard to do whereas with even a core set especially when you keep pulling this guy god damn bugger off no one wants you jeez um with a core set you got out of a case uh two supers per box so you got 48 supers um and no wait hold on two supers per box so you got 24 and when i'm saying supers i mean secrets 24 secrets per case uh and then 48 ultras yes there we go doing maths and pulling cards at the same time i have illusion there um yeah that sounds that sounds about right so you've got a lot better chance of pulling decent stuff to help make your money back whereas this you've just got 36 ultras slash let's say 33 ultras and three collector's rares um because i'm guessing the quarter century secret rare is going to be like one per two cases potentially another drastic draw we are 
really pulling some jank now. I don't think these cards are going to be amazing. They're no, no bonfire, no transaction rollback. So, yikes. Pray for us, I guess. Um, Earthbound Prison in that one. I quite like this method of just whisking the back card off the back. We've got the Ashoka Pillar. It just unfortunately takes my camera a second to focus it. Just, it's in Struggle Street, apparently. Um, but we got the ultimate flame swordsman. Yeah, I I started out Yu-Gi-Oh with a starter deck Joey. So flame swordsman has a special place in my heart. I remember just staring at the artwork of it for ages, and that is cool because I believe that is our third one of fighting flame swordsman. So maybe I am going to build a flame swordsman deck. Um, yeah, I would just stare at the artwork and like look through look through the cards as you do when you're a kid when you don't have many cards And of course with that Joey starter deck you actually got the flame swordsman and the thousand dragon um, As fusion monsters, so you actually had an extra deck for which a lot of the other decks didn't have right like Kaiba uh, Didn't have anything Yugi didn't have anything Pegasus didn't either I don't think no because it had relinquished but no fusion monsters um, so, and of course all of Yugi's fusion monsters were like really good, uh, well not really good but high rarity, so yeah, hard to, hard to actually have a decent extra deck. Oh, there's another one of these, oh wow, so cool. <laughs> so we have nine pulls there, so there's theoretically three more out of all of these packs, so we I don't know. Do we just have a bunch of packs left over? Do we have more than three per box? We're still looking for our thrust. Man, it would suck if we don't get a single thrust out of a case. That would be brutal. Um, because obviously when making these videos, I don't expect to make my money back, but boy it helps. <laughs> it helps to justify opening all these packs. Uh, and making these videos and uh, it helps justifying it to my wife as well <laughs> uh, and you know it's just nice when you don't go a huge neg but we can't always make our money back off every case and I know that but it would just be nice not to neg too hard um, but so far we have three bonfires um, which are going for several well nearly two hundred dollars here in New Zealand that would work out to be about 140 US, I think. Um, that's what pre-sales have them going for anyway. Will they stay that high? No, I, I doubt it. Um, because I think people were expecting them to be short printed to hell. Uh, and instead, Thrust is short printed to hell. So that will probably go back up to around... Man, no! <laughs> Not another ancient charm. Where are the bonfires at? Seeing all the things from people opening cases in America, and everything was looking pretty good apart from Thrust. But maybe from Europe that's a different story because uh, here in New Zealand we get Euro packs, not North American packs. Um, and who knows? Maybe Thrust is just non existent, and so is Bonfire. So we've got what? Three Bonfire, three transaction rollback, I believe, if I'm recalling correctly. Um, that is something. That, that really is something. Uh, but we still have... Oh, okay, okay, we'll take that, another transaction rollback. So, if I've done my math correctly, that is our 35th foil. Which means we've got all these packs, and potentially only one foil left. That can't be right, right? And we've also not pulled, uh, three collector's rares. So, unless our next foil pull is a Collector's Rare, and then everything works out, then we'll magically be on ratio. So, I guess that's entirely possible, but we'll just have to keep opening packs and see. Uh, but we do have a fair few packs still left here on the desk. Got the Earthbound Prison in that one. Um, but, let's see what we can get in these last little bit we got a fighting flame sword that's just an ultra rare uh so that is 36 pulls there i believe okay i've restacked the packs we still have a bunch of packs and we've pulled 36 foils so maybe we've got some more to pull uh, we're still only two collector's rares no quarter century secret rare 
So as far as I'm concerned, we're kind of in extra time now. We're in we're in bonus pull land. Unless I've got it wrong, but they were three per box. Um, they might have changed the foil pull rates potentially, but I mean, yeah, who knows? It does seem like we have a lot of packs left to have no more hits in them. I guess that's entirely possible. Could you imagine if we open all of these packs and there's just nothing in them? That would be the longest dry period in history, but I just, I don't see that happening somehow, but yeah, let's, let's see. Sit back, this is gonna, we're gonna be here for a little bit longer, but yeah, no, well, I'm, I'm confused, but you know, I've never opened this kind of set before by the case. Every time has just been a few boxes, so maybe this is normal. We will, we'll find out anyway, one way or another, we will be tenacious and carry on. Tenacious D perhaps. Um, but no, just a super there. See what else is hiding in here because surely, no. <laughs> no, maybe it is all just supers from here on out because we are just hidden super after super. That's a clawless. Um, maybe I'll have to go back over the supers and just make sure that I didn't miss anything. Oh, okay. That's an ultra. Number one infection buzz king. That's not a buzz kill, so we'll take that. That's our first ultra in extra time, and that's actually a decent one. Um, he's actually not bad, so yeah, we'll take it. Um, so that's 37 now. Let's see how many foils we get out of a case. If it is four per box, if it's gone up to four per box, then that should put us to 48 packs. Um, but who knows, honestly? Um, I Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's three per box, but there's a harmonic synchro fusion again. Our favorite card. Hey, have you seen the collector's rare of this? It's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I think it's going to be worth a lot of money. You want to buy mine? <laughs> um, there's just a flame swords realm. Uh, we'll go to the far left and see what's in this pack. It's going to be a geogriffin. Could probably put together a full earthbound deck. I think there are no ultra rare earthbound cards in this set. So if you are wanting to play earthbound, that's kind of nice. It's kind of cheap. I don't know if you need any... There we go! Our first and probably only <laughs> Triple Tactics Thrust. I mean, it's it's kind of a clean looking ultra, I'm not gonna lie. I can't believe it took till now to get it though. All right, we are carrying on. Let's see what we have left in these packs. I mean, we got a thrust and there's another Buzz King. Okay, all right. I think Buzz King is like still pretty decent. So, you know, it's not one of the main three. I think it's probably the next best card other than the main three being Bonfire, Transaction, Rollback, and Thrust. So to pull two Buzz Kings and a Thrust in, <laughs> in our bonus time, that's pretty nice. And there's a Transaction Rollback. Okay, so I must, have I just miscounted? Three foil hits per box. 12 boxes, should be 36, right? Maybe it has been upped to four. Um, I, yeah, I don't know, but I will take it because if we just sat at those, like that would have been rough, but we are, we are getting some stuff. We're getting our shit now. There's a out of four out of five really good foils. So I, I'm really not gonna complain right here. So we will keep on the pace and see what else we can get. That's just a arcane of force, the fiend, into what is hiding in this one, a Bunbuku, for the Magic Spectre fans out there, Unicorn, no it's not Unicorn, is it Unicorn or is it Karin that's banned, ooh, Fighting Flame Swordsman, we'll take him, another actually decent ultra rare, um, oh it's Magic Spectre Unicorn Karin, that's what it's called right, yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm getting them confused, so, it's, it's both, it's Unicorn and Karin. <laughs> All right, let's see what is in this one. It is just an earthbound prison. Contain your earthbounds, please. Urgh, into this pack. Yeah, really, a, another ancient chart, amazing. Um, okay, it, it's gotta be four per box now, right? It's gotta be. Um, did I just have that horrendously wrong? Has it always been four per box? It's been a little while since we've opened up this set. We didn't open any of the uh, Valiant Smashes because that set was just ass, honestly. It was just so bad. And Centurion 
wasn't good enough of an archetype to carry it, right? Like, and who wanted the other two? They're, they're even worse. So, if it is 48 foils, that's pretty tasty. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm questioning reality. But what I will do is carry on opening packs until there's none left to open because uh, I'm kind of good at doing that. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> so let's see what's hiding in these last few packs. That's another Bunbuku. I wonder if you could basically make a full Rescue S deck out of this. I can't remember what else you need for Rescue S. There's a Kai Top Terra. Just a needlessly confusing name on that one. <laughs> uh, another Earthbound Prison. Alright, we are getting there. Man, I feel like I've been trying to go through this video, but- Oh, yo! Oh, that is nice! That's actually clean! Wow! No idea what that's gonna be worth, but my man, that is a clean-looking collector's rare. That's cool. That is really nice. It's a shame that because the monster's art is so big, you don't get much of, like, the rays coming off it in the background. But that's that's a sweet collector's rare. As our third collector's rare, I'm, actu I'm actually pretty stoked with that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, it's, it's no bonfire, but it is a much better collector's rare than what we've pulled so far it's better than ancient chant it's better than um the what was it the harmonic synchro fusion um it's that's cool <laughs> that's cool so i will take that all the way to the bank um there's another drastic draw so it must be 48 48 pulls per case i must have just got that wrong in which case we still have three foils to go can you imagine if you clicked away when I was like, oh yeah, that's that's pretty much us. We're, we're pretty much done. Oh, that's a, originally a super rare, I just noticed. Okay, so it's probably not going to be worth heaps, that collector's rare. But man, it looks good. That's nice. Um, and to just that. So yeah, potentially three more pulls. Three more foil hits and ultras. Um, maybe one more collector's rare. Uh, maybe one more. <laughs> one more. One. Uh, quarter century secret rare um, who knows see they could put they made the wrong super rare fusion as a collector's rare <laughs> as cool as it looks I would prefer clawless just because I'm a dark world player but maybe now I do have to make the flame swordsman deck because we've pulled uh, I'm not sure if we pulled three of the ultra rare spell we might still only have two of that I haven't been keeping track totally um, but we've pulled definitely I think we've pulled four of the ultra rare uh, monster now but i think probably you still need like the the wanted package right for that oh no because that'd be warriors not pyro just play it with uh info nobles right yeah and all the salamandra cards would be dragon i mean it's pretty cool right warrior and dragon is, is pretty sweet uh, and then you just get your whole field uh taken away by super poly into draco quest so now I think there has to be... Is that just a warrior and a dragon? Oh, there's another Eye of Illusion. Or does there have to be a synchro in there somewhere? It might have to be a, a warrior monster and a dragon synchro? Potentially? I can't remember. Uh, and there's a, another Geo Griffin. Into... Oh, we're getting, we're getting low in the packs. Finally. Feels like we've been here for a little while. It's been a, it's been a fun little opening, honestly. When I say little, it's been quite a large opening. Opening a whole case of Maze of Millennia. First time we've opened a case of a side set. Um, hopefully not the last if we if we have pulled decently here. You will know because you will see all the values for everything down below. Or at least a rough value, an idea. Um, because pre-sales are still on so it's, it's hard to say at this stage. Oh! There we go, another bonfire in our bonus. <laughs> I'm still counting it as a bonus, even if I just am wrong. We will definitely take that. And uh, if it is 48 per, um, per case, 
Uh, that is our 48th. <laughs> How underwhelming is that? This stupid guy. We don't, we don't want you here anymore. Okay, so we've stacked up. We've had 48 pulls, 48 ultras, or above. <gasps> and there we go, another collector's rare Buzz King. That's awesome. That is so cool. Yeah, we'll take that. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. That's really nice. Okay. All right. All right. I see you. Our first, first of all, that's 49 foils. So we are definitely above ratio now, I think. Um, yeah, absolutely above ratio now. So <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll take that. We'll absolutely take that. Um, and anything else we get now is just, just bonus cream, bonus, bonus. It's a, it's a bonus on a bonus. So, four collector's rares after all. That's really cool. That's that's good to know. Four collector's rares out of a case. So, maybe the collector's rares haven't counted towards the ultra quantity. Maybe that's what has happened there. Because that's our 49th card. Our 49th hit. And if, uh, if we pull a few more ultras, which, who knows, we may or may not do. There's only a few packs left. Um, that would mean that we've got a little bit above ratio. Um, so, man, I don't know. At this point, the, the jury is out, and that is a Geo Grasher. A few packs left, maybe around 10 to 12 packs left. Um, <gasps> oh, yo! That is the quarter century secret rare junk warrior right there, my friends. That is, that is a tidy card, is what that is. That is a beautiful looking card. If you're, I don't know, an Edison fan, I guess, it is playable in Edison. Uh, if you're not, it's still just a really, really nice looking card. Wow. I love the artwork. The artwork on it is so cool. I, I do like the original Junk Warrior artwork, but that artwork is awesome. We did it! We got our, our two bonus cards, above ratio, an ultra, uh, sorry, a collector's rare, and a quarter century secret rare. We are eating well today. I mean, okay, looks like, looks like we're going to continue opening cases of these side sets, because this has treated us very well. I can't believe, I, I did not think we were going to get it. That quarter century secret rare, junk warrior alternate artwork that is really really nice and i must admit i enjoy uh what you guys been doing a little bit more particularly in the ocg around alternate artworks like there's that um reinforcement of the army printing that is printed with sky striker artwork on there and uh, i think that's that's a really cool idea is like printing staples that go in certain decks with their cards on it there's hey guess what it's another ancient chunk <laughs> <laughs> After all the hype and madness of the last couple of pulls, we got Ancient Chant just bringing us down to earth here um, as we go into what I think is our last 10 packs now. Um, there's a Kytop Terra. Rounding it out, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe because that really helps me out. Uh, and we are on our march to 1,000 subscribers. Um, I am planning a really cool special video once we hit that, so that is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so help me out, chuck a subscribe on the video, um, you can drop a like as well, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think of our pulls, did we do well, and what you're looking forward to getting your hands on out of this set as we wind down the last few packs here. Oh, what a ride it's been. Uh, we've got a few bonfires, a few transaction rollbacks, we've got our one <laughs> thrust which is apparently like the same ratio as Junk Warrior, effectively. Uh, we, we've got a bunch of Clawless, so that's cool. On to our last three packs. We've pulled about a million Ancient Chants, I think, if, if that's accurate. It feels accurate, that's for sure. And on to our last two packs. What a ride it's been. This has been a really fun video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. We've got a Fighting Flame Sword from our last two packs. I don't even know what ratios are anymore. That is awesome. And our last pack of Maze of Millennia from our case. 
What's it gonna be? Let's find out. We will take this one slowly. We'll go. We'll go properly. We got the reinforce, the fighting flame dragon, earthbound servant geo kraken, horned saurus, jet synchron, and no, <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> millennium revelation, and how? <laughs> how is this guy still here? <laughs> go away! We don't want you here. How many times do we have to keep teaching you this lesson, old man? Let's go over what we got. Okay, so we got four fighting flame swordsmen. Six of these stupid dickheads. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six ancient chants. We got four bonfires, which isn't terrible. One, two, three, four, five drastic draws. One, two, three, four uh, evolution. One, two, three, four, five uh, flame fighting flame sword. One, two, three, four, five harmonic synchrofusion. One whole triple tactics thrust. We got one, two, three, four, five transaction rollbacks. Three infection buzz kings. One collector's rare ancient chant. One collector's rare harmonic synchrofusion. One collector's rare ultimate flame swordsman. And one collector's rare infection buzz king. And we got the quarter century secret rare junk warrior. So a quick count will tell us we got 48 ultras, four collectors rares, and one quarter century secret rare. So if we go, there's four ultras per box. The collectors rare are an extra hit, and the quarter century secret rare is an extra hit. I guess it works out to be about ratio. So not bad. I will take it. So guys, that will do us for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. I've had a blast opening this set. I will see you in the next video.